But if you're declaring they were the love of my life, then you are not going to get anything better. Hey guys, so I often have people contact me who are just pining for the one that they lost, the one who has, has crossed over, the one who has left them, the one who is, is on with their life, be, be it you know, on the other side or here. And I often hear the phrase, they are the love of my life. They are, they are the love, or they were the love of my life. The declaration that they were the love of your life means that there is not a possibility of, a, of another. There is not a possibility of somebody who can love, love you equally or better. What you think you become, you create your world. If you're believing that there is nothing better coming, they were the love of your life and there is no life that will ever, no love that could ever compare, then you are literally saying it's not possible. You are literally creating into your experience never having love like that again. Now, let me ask you something. The person who's crossed over, if they've crossed over, they're over there immersed in the pure, unconditional love of God. Do you think in any way, shape, or form they wouldn't want you to have love again? I think if, if they've crossed over, they would want you to have that joyful expression of love again. And it's, it's not diminishing them for loving another. It's bringing love back in, into, into your life. And since they loved you, they would want that for you. If you're declaring they were the love of my life, then you are not going to get anything better. So why not start to, to declare they were the love of that part of my life? They were the love of that part of my life, but now I'm on to something new. I am joyfully open to possibility of a new love coming into my life. I am receiving a fun and loving relationship. When you start to put yourself into, into the belief that something new could come in, something better could come in, something equal to could come in, then you're no longer limiting yourself to a, a belief that does not allow you to have that experience again. You are the creator of your experience. It's, it's not in any way, shape, or form diminishing them for you to love again. They were a magnificent part of your life. They were the love of that part of your life, and you'll always carry love for them. And the next person to come in may, may be so beautiful and that they respect that. Oh, yeah, that's so wonderful. But when someone comes in who, who wants to love you and you say, no, because I, you're not the love of my life, you're literally negating the opportunity to love again. So choose to say, you are the love of that part of my life. And this part, I'm doing something new. So I sometimes say that, that we are the author of our life, and we get to put periods at the end of chapters and start writing new chapters. When we start writing those new chapters, are we, we have to choose. Are we writing a comedy, a tragedy, a love story? You have the ability to bring someone new into your life, to have that experience, have a greater expression of love or an equal expression of love here in this world. Don't hold yourself back for a past memory. Don't be a victim of love. Let love flow. You guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.